Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now we are going to solve this fifth problem from chapter 14, Hibbler Dynamics. The problem says that determine the required height h of the roller coaster so that when it is essentially at rest at the crest of hill A, it will reach a speed of 100 km per hour when it comes to the bottom VP. So this is bottom B, right? So the velocity at point A is let's say VA. So that is zero meter per second. And the velocity at point B at the bottom is given as that is 100 kilometer per hour. So we need to convert it into meter per second. So one kilometer is equal to thousand meters and one hour equals to 3600 seconds. So this two zeros will cancel out. So we'll be left with 1000 divided by 36, 36, right? So 1000 divided by 36 is 27.778. So VB is, let me write that VB is 27.778 meter per second. So first we are required to find the height h, this height h for which uh, the velocity at point b need to be equal to 100 km per hour. And further it is asked that what should be the minimum radius of curvature rho for the trach at b so that the passengers do not ex uh, experience a normal force greater than 4 mg or 39.24 m. So we have to find the radius of curvature at this point B. So first of all, to find that H, we need to apply the principle of work and energy. So as we know that uh, if we apply the work energy principle, so we, as we know that the kinetic energy at point A plus the summation of the work done due to the external forces from A to B will be equal to the kinetic energy at point B. So since the velocity at point A is zero, so the kinetic energy at point A will be zero. So this will become zero. And the only external force which is acting on this uh, roller coaster is the is its weight, right? So the weight is acting vertically downward. If I represent that weight, so its weight is going to act vertically downward. And since we are required to find the radius of curvature, so we have to consider the normal and tangential coordinates. So let's say that my normal axis is acting in this direction. Let's say this is my positive normal and this is my tangential direction. So this roller coaster will experience two external forces. One is the weight and one is the normal force from the trach. So this is the normal force. So in the normal and tangential coordinates is we know that the roller coaster is having the motion in the tangential direction. So there is no motion in the normal axis. So this means that this N is not going to produce uh, the acceleration or it is not going to produce any work. So only wo the work done performed by this weight, right? So as we know that the work done by the weight, let me write that the work done due to weight will be equal to weight times the change in height. So the change in vertical distance or the vertical position. So I can write that weight is given which is mg and the change in the vertical position, this is del y. So del y here equals to h from a to b, the change in y is h. And as we can see that this roller coaster is moving in the downward direction and the weight is also acting in the downward direction. So this work done is positive work done. So only the weight is going to produce this much work and n is not going to produce the work. So we will write that this summation of the work done from A to B is only this uh, work due to weight. So we will write that this is zero plus mgh and this will be equal to half m and the velocity at B. So velocity at B is VB square. So now we are required to find this H. So this will be zero plus mgh and mass will cancel out. 
So we can write that H will be equal to VB square divided by 2G. So now if I put values, VB is 27.778 squared divided by 2 multiplied by 9.81. So this velocity value, let me write that this is answer square divided by 2 multiplied by 9.81. So the height need to be equal to 39.33. 39.33 meters. So if the roller coaster start its motion at a height of 39.33 meters, so it will attain the velocity of magnitude equals to 100 km per hour at this point B. So this is the first part of the problem. Now we are asked to find the radius of curvature. So let's say that uh, that roller coaster is at point B. So at point B, again, if we consider the normal and tangential coordinates, so the tangential axis will be acting now in the horizontal direction. If I consider that roller coaster here, so this will be our tangential axis and this will be our normal axis. So similarly, this is our tangential axis and this will be our normal axis. And the weight is going to act vertically downward again. So the weight is going to act vertically downward like this. And the normal force is going to act vertically upward. So this is that normal force and this is mg. So as we know that when we consider the normal and tangential coordinates, if we apply the summation of forces along the normal axis, so that is always equal to m times a n. So as we can see that this n is acting, this normal force is acting in the positive n direction. This is my positive n direction. So I will write plus n minus this weight and this is equal to m and as we know that a n is always equal to v square divided by rho and at point b the velocity is b since we are considering this free body diagram at that point b so we can write that a n is v b square divided by rho so i will write v b square divided by rho and as we are given that the normal force is four times mg so it must not exceed this much normal force. So I need to put n equals to 4 mg. So this is 4 mg plus. So 4 mg minus mg. So this is equal to 3 mg. And this is equal to m v b square divided by rho. So mass will cancel out. And from this we can write that rho is equal to v b square divided by 3 g. So now if I put all those values, so we will be able to find the radius of curvature for the path at point B. So VB is 27.778 squared divided by 3 times 9.81. So 27.778 squared divided by 3 multiplied by 9.81. So this gives me the radius of curvature equals to 26.22 meters. So the radius of curvature comes out to be 26.22 meters. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in, in your learning. If it helps in your learning, kindly subscribe my channel. Also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics.